Oh, well, that's an easy one to answer. We're as busy as we've ever been. Uh, you know, I've said it before, we, you know, we say that every year, we're busier than, uh, than we've ever been. But uh, particularly this year, <laughs> it's, it's non-stop. Every, 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 not every day, but every second day, the phone rings and, uh, and uh, there's people, who, uh, people looking for uh, equity, or not equity, but uh, looking for, uh, who are struggling to uh, raise equity and, and looking for finance uh, for, for their projects. So, um, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to put a number on it or, or summarize it, other than to say that the the deal flow or the uh, the interest uh, flow is is constant right now. Well, certainly, yeah, we see it as a buying opportunity simply because we're we're now able to talk to people that we haven't been able to talk to. Uh, you know, operators would generally prefer to to issue equity if they can, if it's if it's if it's a strong market. Um, and that's what's really changed for us is we're, we're talking more to operators directly rather than existing royalty holders on projects. So uh, you know, whether or not we've hit the bottom of that, I don't know. Uh, you know we all certainly hope so because uh, we, we want to see, we, we see things grow and develop from here. Uh, we, we'd, rather see, we, we'd rather see a lot more activity on our existing portfolio, uh, but we, we're always looking to add to it also. Well, for us, you know, we're, we look for the same things that everybody else does. You want you want a big ore body that's rich and with, would be could be developed and operated with a very fat profit margin and with loads of exploration upside, and and uh, and potential beyond what uh, what you currently see there. So we're no different than anybody else. Uh, we're, we've got we've got those same basic metrics. Well, yes and no. We, in terms of number of transactions, certainly. Um, what's what's missing here is there hasn't been the big transaction. There hasn't, uh, you know, our Australia is, uh, is only about five percent of Franco's portfolio by revenue. Uh, by by number of transactions, it certainly ranks uh, more up like twenty or thirty percent. I'm sure over time that those those two numbers will match up. It'll become a greater percentage of revenue as as things move move forward and develop. But uh, we haven't had that 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 big that big deal that would really uh, that that big nameplate deal that everybody can point to. So it's it's been a lot of a lot of smaller smaller uh, transactions here. So 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 number wise, yes. Dollar wise, no. Yeah. Yes and no. On the one hand, the royalty will add to your costs. Um, uh, so the, you know, it becomes a cost of production, but uh, it, it's a cost that goes up and down as your production uh, or the commodity price goes up and down too. So there is there is some matching of the uh, we we benefit from the upside in the gold price. If the gold price goes up, our royalty is worth more. Gold price goes down, our royalty is worth less. So so there is some there is some matching there. Um, so. It's not one for one, but <laughs> every little bit helps, I yeah. suppose. Well, our outlook is as positive as it's ever been, just based on what we've got. Uh, we've got a huge portfolio right now, and we're constantly adding to it. We don't see anything drying up uh, in terms of uh, the, the opportunities uh, there. And, and also, the just the general size of the market and uh, and ourselves, we st we still see plenty of room to grow. There's plenty of room to move around and and, and uh, invest here. So we we don't feel we've capped out at all. Although right now, you know, revenues are flat, but that's a function of commodity price and the state of the market. And you know, who, who knows where it develops from there. Several purposes for us. First of all, we have a much bigger presence in North America. We don't attend a lot of conferences here, so it's a, so it's a great opportunity for us. Uh, uh, we don't have a presence uh, a, a presence in, in, in the state, so it's a good opportunity for us to come out and meet people. Um, secondly, I guess when we're out. Uh, 
presenting our story because we're a royalty owner on a, a variety of projects. We're telling everybody else's story. We're, we're, we're telling investors about all the projects that we're invested in in those companies. So uh, there's, there's a bit of a spin-off there. Even if people aren't invested in Franco, they might be invested in some, they might be interested or already invested in some of these other projects. And, and I guess thirdly, um, you know, there's always the standard conference program and uh, the, the speakers and presentations and, and the standard events, but what, out of every conference, usually the, the best value is something that you could not have predicted in advance, and it's something that happens off of the schedule. It's, uh, it's just running into somebody unexpectedly and talking about something that's, uh, that, that, that develops into something later on. Um, uh, completely, uh, like I said, completely unpredictable, but uh, there's always something. <laughs>